Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, hello. I would love to have you back. So if you would consider subscribing down below, I would really appreciate it. The topic for today's video is kind of new in the sense that it was a subscriber requested video. In the videos that I have done in the past, there is an item that has kind of shown up a few times and I ended up getting this request from a subscriber to do a review of said item on its own. So I was very happy to oblige. If you're curious as to what that item is, stay tuned. Are you on the edge of your seat? Can you not wait to see what this item is? Well, you don't have to wait any longer. It is the MZ Wallace Betty pouch that you see right here. It has one button here that says MZW on it. It has lovely feminine pleating right here that I think gives this pouch a nice little touch. In the back here, you've got a zip compartment that goes all the way down the length. It really covers the entire back right here from the zipper on down. And you've got the MZ Wallace logo right there. Turn it back around, pop it open. And it's got a zippered compartment here that you can open and you can see that it is very big. And then you've also got this pouch compartment right in the back there behind the zipper. So according to the MZ Wallace website, let me close that completely. It measures 5.7 inches across and 4.1 inches in height. There is no measurement for depth because of how thin it is, but I will tell you right now that it is very um, flexible and very accommodating. It's not going to stay this thin. You can actually hold quite a bit in this in this little piece. I would say that this serves as an excellent catch-all in your bag for whatever you might need. Um, I actually came up with seven different purposes for this pouch that I'm going to show you right now just to give you an idea of how much it can hold. But if you're familiar with other brands, I would say it is equivalent to the Chanel Mini O case and the Louis Vuitton Mini Pouchette as far as its functionality is concerned. So. It is a really nice piece that can kind of take you a number of different directions and will serve an excellent purpose in any way, shape, or form, just depending on your needs at the time. It is currently available on the MZ Wallace website in two different colors and retails for $85. I do hope that with time they continue to add more colors because I really do think this is a lovely piece and very functional and should be, in my opinion, one of their staples. and. Hopefully it isn't something that will phase out over time because as you'll see with this uh, video, it can serve a number of different purposes. So let's just jump right in. So I'll open it up. It's empty, obviously, as you saw. And as I've mentioned in my previous videos where I've shown you what's in my bag, I use this as a uh, loyalty card holder and coupon holder. So let me show you. I pulled a total of 20 different loyalty cards in various sizes, thicknesses, 20. It's nice and thick here. This is a big, big chunk of cards. So put them right in here like so. That's it. Closed it. Barely any bulge to it. It's not obviously overstuffed. You could probably fit even more, but I mean, I can't imagine anyone carrying more than 20 loyalty cards at any given time, but if if you do, or if you have a combination of loyalty cards and coupons that is this thickness or even more, I am very comfortable in saying that it will easily accommodate all of that, no problem. And like I said, this was just in the front. You still got the room back here and you still got the zip pouch back here that you can utilize as well. So I'm gonna pop all that out. The other purpose that this lovely little piece can serve is as a mini wallet. So I'm gonna grab about five cards here. One, two, three, four. So five out of those 20 that I just showed you, let's say these are credit cards. You can probably put those here. Let's put them back here in that pouch in the back, just to kind of show you how you can utilize all the different compartments. We've got the zip pouch here that's empty. Got some cash here, pop them in there. Turn it back around. 
You got that zip, zip compartment right here. I'm grabbing some coins, like so. Pop them in there, closed. And just like that, you've got a really portable, small wallet. Again, look, no, no thickness issues. It's not, it can hold far more than that, but you know, if you just needed to run a quick errand, you can do that as well. Another purpose that I figured would be good for this item, it can hold receipts. If you're already compact as far as wallet goes and the particular wallet you are using just does not have the space for receipts, this can serve that function as well. Again, I just grabbed a batch of receipts that I have just to give you an idea. Obviously, I'll have to fold them and, and bring them down a little bit in size to fit, but they go right in here. Zip it closed receipts. Another great purpose for this pouch. And if you have watched my other videos in the past, you've seen me when I'm doing the what's in my bag, I will show you my uh, little emergency makeup kit of sorts that goes in this, in this little Ziploc. Again, don't laugh at me. Um, I actually, in preparing for this video, have decided that I think this pouch will serve the purpose of this Ziploc. I think this is an excellent option as a little emergency mini makeup pouch. So let me show you. I am going to leave this uh, tinted moisturizer in the Ziploc because, you know, if it were to somehow get opened, it would just create a total mess. I'd rather have it in a Ziploc that should it open and become a huge mess, it's in a Ziploc that I can toss out versus dealing with having to clean this pouch. So pop that in here. So you've got that in there. I've got some lip products right here, a couple, you know, travel size and then this full size gloss. Put them in here, like so. And then you've got another lip product. This is a lip primer. Pop that in there. Mini mascara. Close it. Now here it's a little more of a bulge, but again, it's not, it's a Bedford nylon fabric, so it's not like you're stretching a leather or anything like that, so it's a non-issue, don't worry about it. And then also back here then, you can toss some hair ties, put them back here so that they're easily accessible if you need them versus having them kind of getting lost with your makeup, and there you go. Nice, quick, compact makeup pouch. Another purpose that this pouch can serve is as an electronic charger holder. And what I mean by that is your iPhone charger. If you needed to carry that with you and you know didn't want it kind of free in your bag and possibly getting intertwined with other items, this pouch can serve that purpose really well. Here we go. You've got iPhone charger. Spin it around like so. And I was initially wondering if it would work because this plug is so boxy, but as you'll see, not a problem. You know, obviously it will create a little, a little more thickness to the pouch itself, but it holds it just fine. It'll zip it closed just fine. And also if you wanted to include headphones, I have some headphones here that are, can wrap them up like so. And if you want, you can put them in with it if you'd like. Um, you might run the risk of having the wires intertwined with each other, so maybe perhaps throwing it back there to kind of keep them separate. In a pinch, you can do that as well, and then close it. Again, it, it loses its shape a bit. It gets a little, you know, bulky, but if you need it for this purpose, it's there for you. Another purpose that this can serve really well is for your keys. Now, we have a number of options out there in the high-end luxury world. Uh, the Louis Vuitton uh, key clay and Chanel has its own version of a key holder, but those are A, significantly more expensive and B, compared to this, significantly smaller. And if you're like me, if you have bulky keys, those options just do not work. And you will see what I mean. I have huge keys. And I don't even have very many keys. I just happen to have charms, which I kind of like and don't want to um, remove from my keys right here. So 
I've just been okay with, you know, letting them roam free in my bag or in the pocket of whatever coat I'm using. But I've discovered that this can serve as a nice key pouch as well, especially for big bulky keys like mine. So if you have a bag that you would be concerned about the keys kind of rumbling around, scratching the leather, if it happens to be a leather interior or any other reason, if you're just don't want your keys free roaming inside your bag and want them secure in a place so that they don't damage either the bag or whatever else is in your bag, right here. Betty pouch, key pouch, perfect, not a problem. I'm actually really pleased with this option that I've discovered for this particular pouch because when I do carry my higher end items, that is a concern of mine and it never dawned on me to use this pouch as a key holder. So I'm gonna say thank you to the subscriber that did request this video because you've helped me discover a lot more purposes for this pouch and key pouch is definitely one I will be using in the future. And lastly, if you happen to have some personal or feminine items that you want to carry, but obviously don't want them everywhere, you can grab a few pieces like that, put them in there, or actually, just for the sake of showing how much this holds, put them back there. And then if you need to carry some medicine, here's the pill box, you know, just if you want some Advil on you, you know, um, supplements perhaps that you take during the day and you just want them on you they'll fit in here as well zip it closed there you go now it serves as a nice pouch that'll hold some personal items that you you know would like to obviously keep that way nice and personal very discreet right here in the buddy pouch so those are the seven different purposes that I was able to come up with for the Betty pouch. I think it is an excellent catch-all for your bag. It can serve as a great compact wallet if need be. It can hold your personal items that you obviously want to keep personal in your bag. It can hold receipts if you are already compact in a wallet and need somewhere to put receipts because you are going shopping or running errands, what have you. It has a number of different lovely purposes. I think this is a great piece for any woman to have in her small leather good, or in this case, small nylon good collection. It will be a very accommodating, functional, practical piece to own. If you can think of any other purposes that this pouch can serve, I would love to hear them. So please do mention them in the comments down below. I was trying to rack my brain to come up with more purposes but kind of plateaued at the seven that I shared with you. So hopefully there are more options out there that maybe did not cross my mind and that you will be sharing with me in the comments. If you like this video please do give it that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!